you know, I'll do like a freeform nightly reflection video tonight. Nothing too crazy. If you want to text me about anything, then don't, feel free to text me while I'm making this video too, so don't feel like you're distracting me or anything. Hey guys, I know it's been a little bit since I posted a nightly reflection video. Um, I think the last one I posted was on the 5th. Uh, I spent a lot of time with my buddy Cho, and I let myself <laughs> have a little bit more fun than I usually do. So Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday are usually the days that I reserve to spend time with Cho. And so it's hard for me to find myself to pull myself away to make a nightly reflection video. But the question that I have to ask myself is like, you know, is the nightly reflection video really something I want to do for the long term? And is that going to gear me towards what I want to do in the future, right? And I think the answer to that is going to be yes. It's just being able to incorporate it and do it like while spending time with friends. So, for example, like I spend time in Discord uh, all day with uh, my buddy Nibba here. I call them Nibba. That's their nickname. But uh, most people know them through my uh, as my uh, Twitch moderator. But I like to keep their identity a secret. So when I say that, it's not because I'm being an asshole or something. It's just, you know, my nickname. That's all. Uh, anyway, into other things that I wanted to talk about for tonight. Um, you know, I spent a lot of time playing Hearthstones, but the biggest thing that I want to talk to you guys about was that over the last three days, I went through like a relapse phase where... I tried to play League of Legends. So one of my viewers sent me a video recommending me like, hey, you know, I miss Willy Run content. You know, you should try to play like AD Ari. And this was like some time at like, what's it called? This was on Monday the 6th when I was spending time with my buddy Cho. And so I tried, you know, it's like three days I spent uh, intermittently. I tried on like an alt account. I played some games of Ari top, got my ass whooped. Because uh, obviously I didn't spend enough time to learn how to play it properly, so I wasn't going to know how to play it properly. And then um, I think it was on Tuesday. I Tuesday into Wednesday, I uh, played on my main account again. Got the account to Diamond because I did my placements. But again, it's like you know I raged. I got upset. Like I lost control of my emotions and I reacted emotionally instead of being a mature person and being able to choose my response right and you know I, at the same time i don't blame myself because that's just how i scripted myself to be like that's how i played the game and you know it's not solid foundations if you want to play the game for the long term but at the end of the day it's like you know is league of legends getting me closer towards making my first million dollars and again it doesn't have to be league it doesn't have to be anything you can choose whatever you want to do but um but yeah, it's, you know, it's, there's no, there's no wrong answer. It's just what you choose to do, what you decide to do. And so, you know, if you decide that that's the path that you want to go, then, you know, you have to be prepared to do it for a long period of time. And at the same time, it's like, you know, you have to constantly be improving. I didn't improve a lot. You know, I made it to Masters in League, but did I make a lot of money from it? No. So it's just having that ability to just understand yourself and be ready to move forward one step at a time. I just think about it, you know, things that I need to do to improve. This is a lot of stuff on my mind, and I just thought I'd make a nightly reflection video for you guys because I haven't made one in a while. I had some pretty good conversations with Carlitos TTV, some pretty decent conversation with him. Um, but the biggest change that I think I'm going to need to make is like the type of content that I'm making, which is going to be like just me improving my life. Like That's okay. Making that kind of content is okay starting and rebuilding my foundations and being very conscious about the reputation that I want to build is very important. Starting from the beginning. Reputation. 
Constitution. I know what kind of person I want to become and what I want associated with my brand. Playing League of Legends is not going to get me there. I can play it to have fun with friends, but that is not going to be my bread and butter. I need to start working, which is what I'm going to be doing soon, and I need to start fo focusing on ways to improve myself. That's it. I already have somebody like Nibba that is willing to hang out with me all day in Discord, already help me by helping me uh, having my stream open, and helping me generate ad revenue. Like, what more could I ask for? They're also in the process of making me, like, channel stuff. And that's great. There's just a lot of stuff that I'm grateful for in that regard. And, you know, I have to use that as the measuring stick as to who I spend my time with and who I don't. And so, you know, in terms of what I need to be doing in the long term, it's like, you know, I have to get my own life in order in my own hands. I have to, you know, be able to contribute to the world. I have to help society and earn my, you know, earn my keep, earn enough money to pay for the bread on my table. And that's it. You know, I have to do that. Nobody else can do that but me. And so, you know, sitting here and not making a lot of money doing a Twitch live stream is like, you know, that's not productive for me. Like that's not gonna that's not effective in terms of like, is it getting me closer towards, you know, being financially independent? No. And so, you know, as much as I care about my friends, like as much as I care about Cho, as much as I care about Lucy, as much as I care about Nibba, it's like, you know, is gaming going to, you know, is it getting me closer towards my goals? And the answer, you know, responsibly is no. Right now. As of right now, it's not. Could it change? Yeah. But is it going to change anytime right now? No. So what do I need to do? I need to go back to work. I need to make money. Like, it's better for me to work for these next 36 months trying to make my first 100 grand than to wait 36 years and, ne and have an opportunity that never shows up. That's the reality of my situation. But that's okay, you know. I'm, I'm 24. I say that. But it's like, you know, I have to be aware that my age number does not matter. What matters is that I'm starting now. Just like how I started working out again. And I got myself at, to a decent pace when it comes to running that I'm proud of. And, you know, a lot of other achievements that I was able to break past. I got my personal best. And just beating my personal best. That's it. That's all. My own personal record. My own personal records. Ones that matter. You know, my weight, my running speed slash pace, my strength, my uh, net worth, wallet, bank account, etc. My net worth, liquid, net worth, bank account, assets, etc. Like those things are associated with who I want to be. Like maybe playing Hearthstones is just me filling in the void. Like, I took the time to play that game originally to get, you know, closer to understand Lucy. She likes that game, and so I figured that, you know what, I'll take the time to learn it. And, you know, it wasn't bad, but I spent 200... The game tracks how many hours you spent playing that game. I spent 212 hours playing that game. Could I have better spent it somewhere else? Maybe. But for me, it's like, you know, I like being able to play that to be able to spend time with Lucy... But, you know, I also spent money on FC24. But I don't play that all the time. I ended up playing Hearthstones over FC24. 
probably because of how much easier it is for me to play uh, Hearthstone versus FC24. But at the same time, it's like, you know, am I really leaving enough time for me to work on myself too, you know? Am I spending too much time trying to take care of other people instead of myself? And so, in a way, you know, even Lucy said it to me before, but I'm not going to share some of our personal conversations because that wouldn't be appropriate here for this kind of video. I can share general stuff, but I'm not going to share personal stuff like that. But she's aware of my nature and the type of person that I am, and that's basically the gist of it. And, you know, for better or for worse, like, you know, people may think that that's a good thing, but at the same time, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm doing myself a disservice by, you know, caring so much about other people. And that's not a good thing. So, at this point in time, it's November 2023, I'm ready to change my life. And I say that, and I know I've said that a lot of times, but, you know, it's okay. We're just getting directionally correct. Sometimes we relapse, sometimes we make mistakes, sometimes you go back to old habits. But, you know, don't stay there for too long. Like, when people are breaking away from addictions like cigarette and weed and alcohol and stuff like that and gambling every now and then you relapse but what matters is is that you don't let that relapse like take you out you recognize it you stop it and you get back to what you were doing that's it and i was getting directionally correct i stopped playing league after i made it to masters played a little bit just to keep my rank played a little bit for three days burned my hand on the stove again started working out again today you know again it's like you know just gonna get directionally correct it's okay because what's gonna matter is not whether i made the decision to stop playing league today what matters is like you know how i spent the next three years and if i spend the next three years not having you know played league that's gonna be infinitely better than if i spend the next three years playing league and not replacing it with another game and Nibba, since Nibba's here listening, and Nibba here is a uh, eyewitness of this at this live point in time, I ask you, Nibba, that when it comes to gaming, since you and I don't really game that much together anyway, we usually just hang out on the call all day, remind me, because I, okay, how about this, Nibba? I will make you my personal assistant. You will be my personal assistant. You will be, you will be my... You, like, you will be my personal assistant. You know what I mean when I say like that, right? Uh, I know you're in the middle of playing a, uh, what's it called? Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, you can always text me whenever you're free, so don't worry. Appreciate you saying that. You can help keep me in line. Oh, there's a guy on YouTube that's typing. Interesting. But yeah, you can help keep me in line. So, my allowance of when I'm allowed to play video games is only if, and that only if is only going to be if, uh, what's it called? If Lucy invites me to play, or if Cho invites me to play, and we're hanging out on a call. If those conditions aren't met, where, you know, Lucy is inviting me to play, or sitting in a call with me, like, inviting me to play through Twitch, or Discord, or whatever... And Cho isn't sitting in a call with us, isn't inviting me to play, whatever, then I shall not play. I shall focus on getting my life together. That is what I'm going to focus on doing. Because I value them, I care about them, but I also need to value and care about my future. Otherwise, I'm just not going to move from my current position of my personal record. That's it. Deo. interesting it's going all right i'm just doing a live stream just talking about my life right now appreciate you stopping by let's write this down
gaming allowance. Only playing games if Lucy texts me and asks me to play or is hanging out in a call with me and asks me to play. Only playing games if uh, Cho texts me and asks me to play or is sitting in the call with me and asks me to play. Um, not really looking for a job. I've got a job. I'm ready to work. It's just a matter of time before we get to starting to work. But yeah, I just thought I'd record this video because uh, I'm going to be wrapping up going to bed and I'm trying to simplify my my journaling every single night. Instead of having like a 25 page document of stuff that I'm just rewriting every single day, I want to genuinely write stuff, but at the same time, like, you know, make entries when necessary and, you know, just make small adjustments, small changes, delete the stuff that isn't super important and just keep on chugging along. Because it's good to track and like have streaks of stuff. But at the same time, it's like the amount of time that I have to spend doing that, it's like, you know. I can just keep streaks going on, you know, on this right here. So keeping things in spreadsheets is not too bad. I'll have to figure out a different way. I want to try to find a different way. Yeah, but super organized doesn't mean much because this is more pro uh, generation three organization. On the day, on the days before I started spending time with my friend, so on the uh, on the sixth, seventh, and eighth, I did read this. I did read this stuff um, before. Right now, today, I'm just trying to figure out what am I keeping together in here and what am I not. So I'm just reading through this for my nightly reflection because uh, at around ten thirty, I'm gonna go to bed. That's fine. Learning quests, spending time to learn. I mean, learning is applying, so I gotta find a way where I'm actually applying what it is that I'm learning. Like, did I create stuff today, right? Like, that's good. Like, that's fine. Did I help somebody today? Did I mentor somebody? Did I talk about a topic that I'm actually interested in? That's fine. Homemaking. Did I cook today? Like, did I spend time building relationships with people? No, but do you think I'm building my relationship with you with us hanging out on a call? Catch the next stream. How often are you live? I'm live 24-7, PNDO. I keep my live stream on 24-7 right now. Community builder. I gotta build my community on uh, Twitch. Build my community on, like, Discord and stuff.
champion's journey. Thanks, PN Deo. Good champion's journey. Yeah, I think number four is fine. None of these involve playing video games. Investors quest, real estate funds, acquisition, business ownership. Yeah, that's fine. Investments in business, entrepreneurship. Where my adventure is. Time allocation. Yeah, I won't get rid of this, but I think we'll keep this on like a weekly thing. I think I can organize my notes into a weekly thing. I think that's the change. Organize my notes. Organize my daily notes into weekly notes daily seems too often daily seems too often it's like looking into a mirror and hyper focusing on one part of your nose By looking at it on a weekly basis, we're checking in to make sure we're directionally correct, but we aren't just suffocating myself. All right, catch you at a later time, man. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. I hope I'm awake at the time that you tune in. Yeah, I think these are more important life games to play than playing League of Legends. That's fine. And we'll get there. It's okay. Nibba, encourage me to do more healthy things with my time. That is all we will do. I will learn to eat my broccoli. And Nibba will help me eat the broccoli because the broccoli will taste like dessert. If you ever see me sidetracked from working towards my goal, Nibba, ask me to eat my broccoli. Keep me in line. And I'll be forever grateful. Broccoli. Well, thank you, Nibba. Excuse me.
Okay. Yeah, weekly sounds good. We have like three thousand weeks left. All right, I think tomorrow I'll pick up where I left off. I think we're going to continue with adding more music to the playlist. That's what I think I want to do with my time. Yeah, I just took some time, big time to reflect and think of my thoughts. Ah, that's Tommy. You done for the day? Probably. Sounds about right. I think I'm going to be going to bed at around the same time that Nib is getting off. So it would just be what's called. Good idea for me to go wrap up. Because, uh, you know, Nib is the only person that wants to spend time with me right now at this point in time. That, uh, but that's fine. It's okay. Um, just putting my other stuff on pause and just it. Appreciating the fact that I even have a friend that's willing to spend time with me during this time of building. Otherwise, I'd just be spending time alone. I think for me, you know, living for other people in terms of like uh, living, knowing that I have other people that I can serve and do better for is a lot better than just living a life by myself where I'm just only serving myself. So, you know, if other people have, you know, their own thing that they're going to do, I'm going to do my own thing. Yeah, they spend time with me, but they're busy. Like, Cho's working. Like, Cho's at work right now. I can't spend time with Cho. Like, it's also good to know how to spend time alone, but right now, it's like, you know, I'm appreciating the, the fact that I get to spend time with somebody that's not Cho, somebody that's not Lucy. Alright, that's it. I don't want to keep going. I, I, I feel that my time limit for this YouTube video is coming up soon, so I will end the video now. All right, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. It's just a nightly reflection video. I skipped out on doing it for the last couple of days because I spent so much time playing Risk of Rain and all these video games with Cho, and we'll just see how it goes for the next one. So, yeah, I skipped from, like, the 5th up until now, but that's fine. I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. See you guys in the next video.